The Metro has always been one of the most efficient transportation systems, and due to technological innovations coming from year to year, the Metros will also be modern, much faster, more design, and better equipped for potential technological problems. Self-driving Metros are already present, such as the Sydney Metro or the Dubai Metro. In today's video, we are going to look at the 10 modern metro systems of the future. Welcome to our channel's new series, where we look at the largest metro projects in the future. And if you don't want to miss other videos like this, make sure to like this video, and subscribe to Indigo Future. And let us know in the comments below, which one you like the most after you watch this video. Number 10. Tel Aviv Metro. One of Israel's largest cities, which is also a tourist and economic center, the current bus transport solution no longer meets the infrastructural problems of the city's transport, so the city will receive a new metro network of 150 kilometers with three lines and 23 stations. In addition, the project will encourage further investments in the affected areas, increasing economic development. The final line is expected to significantly improve the mobility of the city, increasing available options and reducing travel time, which will overall contribute to the improvement of the quality of life of Tel Aviv residents. The project is expected to be ready by 2032, and construction can start as early as 2025, and the necessary measurements and planning have already been done in December 2022. The Tel Aviv Metro will be an innovative transport development for the Mediterranean metropolis, the final costs of which will exceed $3 billion, but the costs could reach up to $40 billion. Number 9. Jakarta MRT Line 2 The Jakarta MRT Line 2 project is an ambitious urban transportation project that will have a major impact on the Indonesian capital's transportation infrastructure and the daily lives of the city's residents. The project includes an 8.6-kilometer underground metro line that will connect 13 stations in the city. The project aims to improve the city's transport capacity and provide access to people who previously had difficulty getting to different parts of the city, in addition to reducing the city's congestion and traffic, improving the city's transport options and making traffic in the city safer. Its first phase was opened to the public in 2021, which was enthusiastically received by the city's population. Thanks to the new metro line, the city's residents can quickly and safely get to different parts of the city, thereby improving the quality of life and mobility. Environmental protection also plays an important role in the project. It is expected to open for good between 2025 and 2028, when construction costs are estimated to be around $2.25 billion. Number 8. Cairo Metro Line 6 the Cairo Metro Line 6 project is a massive infrastructure development project that will expand and improve Cairo's transportation network. As part of the project, a new subway line will be built that will connect the northern and southern parts and provide greater access to the city's tourist spots and business districts. The new Metro Line will be 20.5 kilometers long and include 29 stations. The new line will pass through one of the most congested areas of the city, where the current transport infrastructure can no longer meet the needs. The project faces many technical challenges, but the city and the builders are making significant efforts to facilitate the construction work. The first phase was handed over in 2019 and the project is currently underway. The new metro line will not only increase the city's transport capacity, but will also have a positive effect on the city's economy. If handed over in 2023, the $4 billion project will have a positive impact on Egypt's capital. Number 7. Ottawa Metro Ottawa's future metro development project is one of the most exciting infrastructure projects at the center of the Canadian capital's development plan. The project aims to improve the city's transport network and reduce traffic jams. The first line of the Ottawa subway opened in 2019 and has been with me ever since, but the network is planned to be developed and expanded in the future. The development includes the construction of two additional lines, creating a 41-station four-line network for Canada's capital. Ottawa's metro development project offers long-term benefits to the city. The new lines help to improve the efficiency of the transport network, which reduces traffic jams and increases the number of commuters. Ottawa's subway development project is one of the largest and most ambitious projects in the city's history. 
The Ottawa Metro development project is one of the most significant infrastructure investments in the region and will have a major impact on Ottawa's transportation network in the future, with approximately $4.6 billion being spent on the improvements. Number 6. Jeddah Metro The Jeddah Metro is an ambitious infrastructure project that aims to improve the city's transport network and make it easier for people to get around. However, the importance of the project lies not only in the transport sector, but also in the development of the city as a whole, as the futuristic network, which will cost more than $12 billion, will bring about a significant change in the history of transport. The planned length of the Jeddah Metro exceeds 46 kilometers and in the first phase it will operate on six lines, of which three metro lines, two on the surface and one on an elevated track. The planned opening of the first phase is expected in 2023. The Jeddah Metro will touch more than 47 stations. One of the special features of the Metro project is that it will be fully automated and will be one of the most advanced metro systems in the world when it is finally completed by 2030. Number 5. Metro de Bogota The Metro de Bogota project is a large-scale infrastructure project that aims to improve the transportation network of the Colombian capital, Bogota, and make it easier for people to move around the city. Construction began in 2021 and is scheduled to be completed by 2028. The length of the new metro line will reach 23.9 kilometers, of which 15.8 kilometers will be underground, and the rest will run on an elevated track. The new metro line will operate with modern vehicles that are comfortable, safe and sustainable. The new metro line will not only improve the city's traffic, but also promote sustainable development. The importance of the Metro de Bogota project lies in the fact that it helps the city deal with the traffic problems it has experienced in recent years. With the help of the new subway line, people can get to their destinations more easily and quickly, thereby reducing car traffic and air pollution, which is a big problem. The price of the project will be approximately $12 billion if it is completed by 2028. Number 4. Riyadh Metro One of Saudi Arabia's largest megaprojects, the Riyadh Metro, is the construction of a new transportation network for the Saudi capital, providing new, modern and more environmentally friendly transportation for the city. Riyadh's traffic has been a big problem for the past decade, until the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia decided to build a six-line, nearly 176-kilometer metro network from scratch, along with a bus network of hundreds of kilometers. It is currently the largest urban transport development project and costs nearly $22.5 billion. The stations will be among the most beautiful in the world, each of the network's 84 stations will be unique and cost hundreds of millions of dollars each. The metro trains will have two-car and four-car layouts and will be designed by the world's largest train manufacturers, such as Siemens or Alstom, and the entire network will be self-driving and automatic. The subways will follow each other every minute, which allows for efficient transportation. Currently, the entire network is ready and undergoing testing and is expected to open in 2023. Number 3. London Crossrail London's transport has been a big problem in recent years, and the constantly overloaded subway network is no longer a solution for the city's transport. That's why London created the Crossrail Project, a railway project with 10 stations that would give London a better transport. Its goal is to provide a high-frequency hybrid commuter rail and rapid transit system crossing the capital from the western suburbs to the east. Its first phase opened in the first half of 2022, but it was originally supposed to open in 2018. The task of the line is to provide a solution to commuting, which is a big problem in London, and to enable a more efficient and innovative transport. The main feature of the project is the construction of a new railway line. As soon as the Erjabet line becomes fully operational in May 2023, the new nine car trains will run on the central section with a density of up to 24 trains per hour in each direction. The price of the entire investment is nearly $23.6 billion. Number 2. Ground Paris Express The construction of a 200-kilometer, four-line, automatic metro railway network, traffic congestion has been an increasing problem for Paris in recent years, so it was forced to build new developments and a new network. 
However, since the metro network is large and complicated, almost nowhere can new lines fit, so Paris was forced to build a honey railway. The railway project was first proposed in 2007 and construction began in 2015. A total of 68 new stations are being built on the four new lines, which are nearly 200 kilometers long and the total costs exceed $45 billion. The project will be completed in stages between 2020 and 2030 and will be completely ready by 2030. The new line will increase the capacity of the Paris Metro by 2 million passengers per day. This huge transport investment will have a huge impact on Paris and will also provide a renewable transport option for the French capital that is efficient, affordable and environmentally friendly. Number 1. Suburban Rail Loop One of Australia's largest megaprojects, which will provide a better transport option for Melbourne and Victoria, is a railway that will stretch 90 kilometers across the province, including the Melbourne Airport and two other transport hubs. The project will consist of four phases, two of which are already under construction, and the opening of the first phase is expected in 2029. The project was announced in 2018 and would provide a solution to Melbourne's long-standing traffic problem. The project is being built not only for transport development reasons, but also for environmental protection reasons, saying that SRL will provide a high-frequency metro service with fully automated four-car trains. This design differs from Melbourne's existing heavy rail system and will provide much more efficient and innovative transport. When ready, it will contain 15 stations and stretch 90 kilometers under Melbourne's suburbs, but work has already begun in 2022 and is expected to be fully completed by 2035. The costs are estimated at $31 billion, but this could go up to $51 billion, 